And when leaders of Veek's national organization closed the LSU chapter last month, they said they acted, quote, in full support of the Max Groover Act. I dug a little deeper to find out what this 2018 anti-hazing law means for the nine Veek members who were arrested. The nine members of Delta Kappa Epsilon, or DKE, arrested for hazing last week could be the first to receive the harsher penalties outlined in the Max Groover Act. We dropped Max off at LSU, an amazing, caring, sweet young man who was starting to spread his wings and start shining his light on the world. Now our family is broken. We will never be the same. That's Ryan Groover, Max Groover's mother, urging the state to pass the Max Groover Act. In March 2018, the act was signed into law to create harsher penalties for those convicted of hazing. It's very important to us to get this message to the country that we need to change. Hazing needs to end. A year ago, the Deke members could have gotten by their hazing allegations with a misdemeanor, a maximum $100 fine, and 30 days behind bars. With the Max Groover Act, anyone convicted of hazing could be charged with a felony and are now subject to $1,000 in fines and six months in prison. Right now, the harshest penalties Deke members are facing include felonies for second-degree battery, false imprisonment, and criminal hazing. Other members are facing misdemeanor charges for criminal hazing. Media Relations Director Ernie Ballard says all nine Deke members are still students at LSU. The outcome of the university's ongoing investigations into the hazing allegations will determine if the students will be expelled. 